Hello everyone. Welcome back to another cigar review. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing the Rocky Patel 1999 Vintage Connecticut uh, wrapper. Um, if you saw the short I put out, um, I got a package of cigars from a friend of mine. He said here, do some reviews on these. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Willie. Um, so, my sister, if you, some of you have been subscribed with me for a long time. I may have mentioned my sister, Michelle. Um, she actually picked out this book for me to do, so thank you to her. And here it is. Oh, oh it's too bright. You can't see it. My lighting screwed up. I'm, I'm in the midst of getting things set up again to do these. Uh, trying to bring a better quality video to you, uh, the viewer. And it's a process of trial and error, if you know what I mean. So please be patient while I try and get things organized and set up in the way that I want to bring you the best quality video I can. Um, Anywho, yeah, it's a Rocky Patel Vintage 1999 Connecticut Wrapped. Um, let's see, let's look this up real quick and find out all there is to know about it. I should have had this brought up already, my apologies. But it is what it is, so. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, nope, go away, don't want you. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. My computer's a little slow today, I apologize. So, let's see. Uh, um, it's a vintage 1999. So, the vintage 1999 Connecticut. Okay, it is. Uh, it's a Connecticut shade wrapper with a Nicaraguan binder and a Dominican Republic and Nicaraguan filler. So there we go. Got that. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get after it here. I'm anxious to get into this. I've had these before. I think I may have even done a review on them before. I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check before I did this. I'm just... Glad to be back doing reviews for you guys. So, we'll see here. Yeah, it's got a nice oily wrapper on it. I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. Nice hue on it. it has a slight sweet smell. Hmm, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Construction looks good. Uh, wrapper looks great. Filler looks pretty even. It's not like bunched on one side or the other. The cap looks like it's a little off center and uh, maybe not uh, put on all that well. But other than that, it looks great. Alright. Let's put a hole in it. Get after it. That's not going to work. Where is my other one? Yeah, I'll have to use this. Figure out some way to do it. There we go. Mm. There we go. Mm. 
pre-draw has some nuttiness to it. Yeah, a bit of sweetness coming through on it. Seems to be a bit uh, tight on the draw, maybe packed just a little too much. The draw is a little uh, difficult. Not, not impossible, but it's not as uh, free flowing as most. Nice. I like it. All right, let's put the torch to it. I don't have a torch anymore. I'm regaled to using, uh, relegated, I should say, to using uh, Bic lighters for now. I got another torch lighter on order. It's coming in. Mmm. Yeah, that nuttiness is coming through on it. Almost uh, like an almond. Has a nice aroma through the nose, back through the nose. Definitely has a tight draw, I will say that. Um, as far as the construction goes, it, it uh, appears to have been, oh, it seems to have been a little overly packed, but it's not impossible to smoke, just, um, just right now it is a little difficult to draw on. Bit of sweetness coming through, nice on the lips, bit of sweetness on the lips. Not a whole bunch, just a hint. Starting to run just a little bit, as you can see. But we'll see how that goes as we smoke along here and see if that continues or if it evens out on its own. You know what they say, puff and rotate, puff and rotate. Try to keep an even burn. Yeah, I like that. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's starting to even out. So I think we'll be all right as far as how the burn goes. Anyway, all right, we're started. So I will uh, get back to you when we're about halfway through and let you know how it's going. All right. As you can see, we're about halfway through. Uh, the uneven burn pretty much worked itself out, as you can see. Wrappers held together good. The draw got a lot easier after the first, oh, half inch or so. It kind of opened up, so it must have just been tight packed right at the foot of the cigar and once I got past that it opened up and it's much easier to draw on still has a good firm grip though and but still easy draw get a good amount of cigar on a draw or smoke I'm sorry good amount of smoke on a draw uh, Still has a touch of nuttiness. There's a bit of uh, sweetness still. And it's uh, kind of getting a little bit of a spice to it on the middle as we get closer to the back end. So we'll see. A little bit of real light pepper, peppery, you know. Nothing burning or anything like that. Has a fine aroma coming back through the nose. Yeah, very good. It's getting a little more robust as we get into it. It's getting a more robust uh, smoke to it and more robust. Yeah, so 
All in all, so far it's been a very good cigar. I've enjoyed it. I've had these before. Um, it's been a long time though. A long time. Like years since I had one. And if I remember correctly, I also like the one I had before, which something that amazes me about the cigar, cigar industry is they can have cigars out for years and years and years, and I understand they grow the basically same tobacco plants and the same soil and everything. It's going to be a consistency, and when they blend, they consistently blend with the same tobacco leaf and everything, so that's one of the main goals of a cigar that's established, a well-established brand name, is consistency and quality. And I appreciate that. But it's still, there's so many variables with weather and everything else that can affect a cigar. And it amazes me that they can keep them so, uh, so consistent over the years with all the variables involved in farming tobacco and things like that. Um, and it really speaks to the families and the tobacco growers and the companies that blend these cigars and put them out to the effort they put in to create a fine product that people all over the world can enjoy. You know, it, it really speaks to their commitment to the product and the customer and what they want to provide to the customer and I like that I really do and I'm not just saying that about Rocky Patel it, it's uh you can say that about any major brand name you know Rocky Patel Puente uh you know there's so many of them out there Punch you know you can, it, I really, really amazes me sometimes the lengths they go to. Yeah, very good smoke. And it's still relatively smooth, even though it's getting a little more robust. It's still smooth on the palate, very smooth. This would be a good cigar for a first time smoker. Because it's it's uh, not an overly strong cigar. It's a smooth cigar, but yet has good flavors to it. As for the new smoker who, you know, if you get into a Maduro or something like that, you know, it's going to be like a punch in the face the first time you smoke it, probably. And it can be a bit overwhelming, whereas this is a milder cigar. And it won't be so up in your face and, you know, walking up and just jacking you in the jaw, <laughs> you know what I mean, anyway, so, all right, well, that's the halfway through, uh, I'll let you know how it goes on the finish, all right, as you can see, we're getting down the end of it here, been a good smoke, I really enjoyed it, um, still a little more robust than it was at the beginning, slightly peppery, not, nothing overwhelming, um, the nuttiness is gone. That's gone. Still a little bit of sweetness, just a touch. Uh, I imagine that's due to the Connecticut Shade Wrapper. Um, construction's been excellent. Other than that little problem with the draw at the very beginning, uh, had no problems with construction. Good even burn all the way around. Uh, wrapper never split or anything like that. Been very good. Um, yeah. Been an enjoyable cigar. Really enjoyed it. Still getting a good amount of smoke on a draw. Nice aroma back through the nose still. Not overpowering. Yep, it's been a good smoke. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I would recommend this. This would be, like I stated at the half, this would be an excellent cigar for a beginner. It really would. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you viewing and joining in on this review. Uh, please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. 
uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you've had this cigar or not, what you thought of it. Uh, if you want to see another cigar that was in that uh, unboxing short I did that out of this this one came out of, uh, go look for that short. It's my most recent one. And let me know which cigar you want me to do next. Um, if you want to help me keep doing uh, videos and help me get a better, better quality video, um, donations are always very much appreciated but never expected. Um, I'll leave a link to my Cash App and my PayPal in the comments if you would like to donate and help me keep doing videos. i greatly appreciate it if you would. Um, yeah. So, alright. And with that, I will say, as always, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for viewing.